Welcome to the Sports Awards this year. Unfortunately, we can't be together in the auditorium, but I hope you're going to enjoy the Sports Awards just the same. Now, a reminder of how the format of the awards work. We have one player of the year for each activity, and then we have some character awards for each team. So the player of the year is the outstanding player in that particular activity, and the character award goes to those students on the team that have demonstrated resilience, discipline, high levels of enthusiasm and of course commitment to training as well and demonstrated all those character attributes that we expect at desk. After that we have the female and male team of the year which is always very hotly contested certainly amongst the staff and with so many successful teams at desk it really is a difficult job to try and choose the one so congratulations if you managed to get into that. We'll conclude the awards with sportsman and sportswoman of the year I really hope you enjoy them. It's a lovely chance to celebrate what's been a wonderful year of sport. We've really enjoyed watching you all wherever it's been and I hope you have a great time enjoying the awards. Good evening everybody at Dubai English Speaking College. Um, it's James Grayson here from Northampton Saints. Uh, I feel very privileged to be asked to give you a short speech about my school life and my sporting career to date. Um, so I will start from the beginning. Um, my school sport life was brilliant, loved every second of it, I loved trying out for all the different sports teams. I started um, in year seven, trying out for the rugby, football, basketball and cricket teams. Uh, to begin with, I didn't get into the rugby team, um, which was, as an 11 year old kid who wanted to be a professional rugby player, was absolutely devastating, but um, the story doesn't finish there. Uh, so, played all those sports from a young age, loved it. Basketball was probably my favourite, followed by rugby and then football. Um, but my parents were massive advocates in me trying everything. And those sports, without doubt, developed my professional rugby game now and managed to hone my skills through playing those sports. Um, the things that those sports taught me, apart from interacting with many different people, um, Footballers are a lot different to rugby players and rugby players are a lot different to basketball players so it meant that I got to spend time in an environment where I was surrounded by different teams and learning how different teams work, different coaches. Um, some coaches are more uh, will criticise you more than others. Um, some will put an arm around you and, and understanding these different coaches and the players and how to talk to your teammates uh, helped me massively and I would without doubt say to any young sportsman who wants to be a professional rugby player or a professional cricketer or whatever it might be, play as many sports at school as you can. Um, I'll just give you a little overview about what I have done in my rugby career. Um, I started playing rugby when I was four. Um, my granddad took me down to the local rugby club and, and let me run free for a couple of years, which the coaches probably didn't enjoy, but I certainly did. Um, and then going through playing school rugby, uh, I managed to get picked up by Northampton Saints Academy. Um, I wasn't playing in my position that I wanted to. My schoolmaster moved me around a little bit to try and make me understand the way that rugby should be played and that it's not a game just for me. Um, so I played a little bit of scrum half and I played fullback for a little bit and then eventually kind of migrated into playing fly half where I play now for Northampton Saints. Um, after getting picked up by the Saints Academy, I tried out for the Midlands. Um, the England split into four, the North of England, the Midlands, South East and South West. So I tried out for the Midlands and unfortunately the Midlands didn't want me. So that was a little bit of a stab in the heart as a 16 year old kid who was destined to play rugby in my mind, but the team that I tried out for didn't want me. So uh, the North of England, they were short of a fly half. Um, so I went up the road a little bit and played for them. Um, and then when it came to playing against the Midlands, we smashed them and I ended up getting picked for England ahead of the kids that got picked for the Midlands. So that just shows that one route isn't necessarily the only way. There's plenty of other routes um, to get to where you want to go. Uh, then managed to play in two under 20s World Cup finals. Um, unfortunately lost both of them. First one was to New Zealand, um, that was a humbling experience there, an immense side um, and just to see their culture and the way they 
they behave on and off the field was pretty was pretty amazing. And then last year, um, unfortunately, lost to France in France. But again, another unbelievable experience to play in front of twenty five thousand French people rooting and going for their team, and they absolutely hated us. So that was an incredible experience as well. Um, now I'm lucky enough to be a professional rugby player at Northampton Saints. Um, I'm, I've just signed a two-year contract and I hopefully will, after these two years, sign another one and kick on a little bit more at the Saints. Um, in terms of training and applying yourself on the practice field as well as on the, the game field on a Saturday, um, one of the greatest trainers I've ever witnessed is Dan Bigger. He is a Wales fly half, British and Irish fly, Lions fly half and he's Northampton Saints fly half as well at the moment with me um, and there is no surprise why he is one of the world's best because the way that guy trains you've never seen anything like it. So one tip I could give any young up-and-coming sportsman be it basketball, hockey, tennis, golf, football, cricket, whatever it might be, lacrosse, Apply yourself on the training field every day. Um, work hard. Take criticism on board because there will be plenty of it, plenty of it along the way. Um, and enjoy it. Most of all, enjoy it. Drive the standards of your team. And um, yeah, I'm sure you'll get to where you want to go. So again, thank you very much for asking me to say a few words. I feel very privileged. Um, and well done to all the winners tonight. Cheers. Hi, my name is Isadora and I am part of the Year 8 Swim Squad. Throughout the season, we have had many successful swim galas such as the DASA Championships, which is also one of our greatest highlights. At the DASA Championships, both the A and B teams competed exceptionally well, coming third overall. Thank you to all of our under-13 swimmers for your hard work and dedication at training. And a special thank you to Mr. Killian and Coach Manier for pushing us to swim our hardest. Hi everyone, this is under 30 swim team did extremely well, always finishing the top 3 of the Darsa Galas. My highlight of the year for the 30 swim squad will be great character that's always shown by the swimmers. To fill in at any race of the gala due to another swimmer being injured or not able to compete. Thank you for a great year and let's aim to perform even better next year. This is under 13 swimmers of the year with the most consistent performance. Well done to Omar Abushira and Isla Henry for being named Best Female and Best Male Swimmers of the Year. This year's Character Award goes to four students who are always improving. Well then to Casper Wannerby and Sabrina Sheriff Dean for the A team and to Kian Garani and Isidora Ristik for the B team. I'm Sammy Burns and in this year's Sports Award I've managed to win the uh, Player of the Season Award for Aquathon as well as the Senior Sportsman of the Year. And as an endurance athlete I can say just how important resilience and commitment can be when thriving for success in sports and in this case Aquathon. I put in countless hours into training and used to wake up before school hours to try and prove myself as an athlete. For every Aquathon event hosted during this season, I would come out of the swim close to 10th place, but with the commitment and resilience, I never saw myself as out of the race, and I would come all the way up to first place after the run. This is just one of many examples of how these attributes can help any athlete to succeed. The under-13s performed exceptionally well in all of the Aquathon competitions this year. They thoroughly enjoyed the new relay event, and they worked very well as a team, supporting each other throughout the run which was a much shorter and quicker race this year. This year's Female Athlete of the Season goes to Isla for being an excellent role model to other students and performing extremely well in all of the competitions this year. This year's Male Character Award goes to Kian for always turning up to training and showing excellent determination in the last stages of the run, trying to overtake as many other athletes as possible. This year's Female Character Award goes to Antonia for always coming to training and working tirelessly to improve her performance. As a result, she has performed very well in all of the competitions this year. Hi, 
I'm Megan and I've had the pleasure of competing in the DAS Across Country and Axon series on behalf of DESK since I was in Year 7. These events take part in the beautiful grounds of Bashi School for Boys, and whilst the swim for the Axon is obviously down in the pool, the running course takes you across varied terrain rather than just running on a road or a track. Don't be put off by the stories that your parents have competing in cross country from when they were younger. We are so lucky that in Dubai there is no cold, rain or mud involved, so it's a really lovely event. The aspect I most enjoy about cross country is although it is a race that you take part in individually, the competition itself is as a team, so there is a great camaraderie amongst the runners to do their best for each other. Also, unlike some other sports where you travel to events in your age group, this is one where every year competes on the same day, so you travel as a squad. I remember looking up to and being guided by some of the older students only a few years ago, and before I knew it, I was one of them. I really enjoyed mixing with the younger students, doing warm-up laps, and looking over the route with them while hopefully settling some nerves. I have some really fond memories from the cross-country events. Good luck. I'm really happy to be talking about cross country and the roundup of this season for the under 13s. We've had two cross country events this year, one in December which was the team event, so a relay event with a team of four, and then we had the individual event in January. It's always difficult for under 13s to select the teams as we can only always have a certain amount of runners and it's always oversubscribed at this age group which is really great to see. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mr Gardner, Miss Kerastos and Miss Small for running our weekly running club each week at desk as well as contributing and taking time to help out at both of the events as well. It's really appreciated. Now for the awards. I'm going to do the female awards first. So the female player, or should we say runner of the year, goes to um, a performer that is an all-round exceptional athlete. She plays a lot of different sports at the college um, and her, this means that her fitness and her endurance levels make her an ideal cross-country runner. She was stepped up whenever needed and she was the fastest runner for desk in her age group in the individual event. The runner of the season for the under 13 girls goes to Eliza Petricola. The character award for the under 13 girls goes to someone who is always dedicated to any team at desk and especially cross-country running. In the team event she stepped up to the higher age group without no hesitation when, a when asked and did really really well in that, meaning that that team actually made it onto the podium. The character award for the under 13 girls goes to Matilda Mann. And for the boys. This year's runner of the season for the boys goes to someone who is an accomplished runner but is very modest in his approach to the sport and he's got a real good ability to motivate those around him. He runs inside and outside of school and it's always a pleasure to watch him compete. The runner of the season for the boys for under 13s is Alex Demain. And the character award for the boys goes to a quiet young man who is always there, he's always dedicated, encouraging his teammates around him. He's got a passion for running, as do his family, um, and he'll be greatly missed this year when he goes off on his move to the UK and we wish him very well. The character award for the under 13 boys goes to Vaughan Dingle. Congratulations. My name is Sam Tundu. I was delighted to be chosen for the Golf Senior Character Award this year. I started playing golf about two years ago. To begin with, it was quite hard and frustrating. However, with practice and determination, I've been able to improve my game and I really enjoy it. I spend any spare time I can on the golf course. Playing golf at desk has helped me take my game to the next level due to the competitive environment it creates. It was great to be able to play for the school. I was part of the golf team and I really enjoyed this and hope to do the same next year when I go into sixth form. I would like to congratulate all the winners for golf this year. My advice to you all would be to practice as much as you can, keep going even when it can be frustrating, enter as many tournaments as you can as it improves your game. Trust in yourself and have confidence that you can do it. The great thing with golf is that you only have yourself to rely on. Most of all, have fun, it is a fantastic game. Hello everyone, Mr. Hobday here. Well, it's been an excellent year for Desk Golf. 
until we were rudely interrupted by the coronavirus pandemic. We had a healthy number of students attending the Golf ECA on Monday evenings at Jumeirah Golf Estate, and we also had two teams uh, playing in the Dubai Schools Golf League. Uh, straight on to the award for the under 13 player of the year is a, a very impressive young man uh, called Adam Campbell, who's already a single figure handicap golfer. And I can see over the next few years that he's definitely going to get his handicap down and should be playing off scratch pretty soon. What a great young man. What a great golfer. Congratulations to our under 13 player of the year, Adam Campbell. This is Gautam Men. I was very fortunate to have been given an opportunity to be the captain of the boys under 13 cricket team. I recall how well we played as a team against Rugby. We really put all our, all our effort as an individual and as a team during the match. Our openers gave us a strong start and the middle order batsmen led us to victory. The bowling and fielding were phenomenal and overall it was a good team performance. I would like to thank all my teammates for a wonderful season. I would also like to thank the staff, particularly Mr. Wrighty and Sam, for giving me a chance to lead this wonderful team and for all the encouragement and motivation. I look forward to a great season in the next academic year. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to the Under 13 Cricket Awards. I'm going to start off with the highlight of the season, which is the opening match against Repton. Outstanding game and a great victory. We move straight on to the awards. This year's character award goes to a player who has been extremely um, dedicated to the team, always helping out with fixtures and had some sterling performances. Congratulations to Kanwal Singh. The player of the season goes to our captain. Some unbelievable batting innings, fielding and bowling performances. Congratulations to the player of the season, Gautam Manon. Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to say what an amazing achievement to all our under 13 netballers at desk. We have four great teams that challenged and played schools across Dubai and Abu Dhabi. What dedicated and talented coaches we have had this year to get us to these levels. Ms Acton, our director of netball, always inspiring us to play the best and work effectively as a team. I would like to mention what an honour it was to represent Desk at Dubai Rugby Sevens. To win the final to make our coaches proud has been a massive highlight to our netball season. I'd like to thank Desk for all the wonderful opportunities you bring us as athletes. Thank you. Hi to all of the under 13 Desk netball players. I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you playing at Desk this year. You have all been fantastic, from the A team, B, C and D. Your coaches have been so proud of what you've achieved this year. You have trained hard and you have played even harder. The results were brilliant and we just want to say a massive, massive well done and thank you for your continued hard work and resilience for Death Netball. Your year group has such a massive, massive pool of talent. And the coaches have commented it's probably one of the best netball years of girls that we have seen for a long time. A massive well done on this season and I'm going to hand you over to Miss Mason for the awards. Well done. The netball awards for the under 13s. The character award in the A team goes to Bella Dupree. For the B team, Lily Jelowitz. The C team, Georgina Atkhurst. And the D team, Alicia Cook. The overall under 13 player of the year is awarded to Eliza Petricola. Congratulations, girls. My favorite memory this season with the football team would be winning the league and my goal celebration versus the IS. Big thanks to Mr. Barrett and Mr. Arnold for coaching and refereeing us. Big thanks to all the players for making the team a really good team to play with. It's a real pleasure to play with such amazing teammates. 
Thank you to all the parents for supporting us throughout the whole year. And also, I want to congratulate the B team for winning the league as well. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the Under 13 Boys Football Sports Awards. Fantastic season for both sets of teams this year. For the B team, coached by Mr Brown, they went on to win their respective league and they went unbeaten for the season. The character award for the B team goes to Rakan Altuba. For the A team this year, they also went unbeaten as well as conceding zero goals in the league campaign. The highlight of the season for me would be the semi-final victory against Kings Al Barsha winning in, on penalties. Character award this year goes to Dara Didasti and the player of the year award goes to Adam Campbell. Congratulations to every single girl who trained and played for the desk under 13 spot. I wanted to acknowledge the fantastic season that we've had. Across the A and B team, we played 12 matches and only lost one each, which is an outstanding result. A highlight for the A team would definitely be reaching the DASA Cup final, but I can speak on behalf of all of us when I say we are gutted that it was cancelled due to COVID-19. But it's okay because there's always next year to win it. A special mention goes out to the C team, who showed great commitment and put in lots of effort to their training sessions. It was great to represent DESK and make lots of new friends. A big thanks goes out to the brilliant coaches who have helped us improve greatly, Mr Barrett, Mr Kennedy and Miss Mitchell. Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to be speaking about the under 13 girls football at DESK this year. It's been a tremendous season, it was really difficult to pick only two teams at the start of the year. We had many different trials and with the amount of numbers that we had, the, the selection was very competitive. So well done to everyone that did get selected into the A and B team. Both of those teams were in the DASA League Division 1 this year, which is quite unusual. And they both had a fantastic run in the league, with the B team coming third, playing lots of other A teams in the league, and the A team winning the title. The A-team went on to the DASA tournament, which they also won, and they had a fantastic run in the cup, where they managed to get through to the cup final, which was due to be played at the sevens ground, and unfortunately that didn't get played due to the coronavirus. However, I know that we would have been victorious. It's been a fantastic season, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I have to also say thank you to the parents, who have always been the loudest on the sidelines, but always so positive. My personal highlight of this season has to be when the under 13 A team played the B team on our very own great pitch at desk. It was a fantastic event, lots of momentum to the build up and myself and Mr Kennedy were so proud of each and every player on the pitch. The game was incredibly tight and very close and I think that's a fantastic representation of the talent that we have available at desk in girls football in this age category. I hope each and every player was really proud to wear the desk badge. On to the awards. This year's player of the season goes to someone who's been consistent on the left wing for the A-team each and every game. She's got an exceptional ability at crossing the ball into the box and has set up many of our goals as well as getting her name onto the, the score sheet herself. She's had a fantastic first year at desk. The player of the season for under 30 girls football is Mariah Gurdon. On to the character awards. The character award for the B team goes to someone who Mr Kennedy describes as always energetic and enthusiastic. She's serious on the pitch but she always plays with a smile and that is infectious towards her teammates. The character award for the B team this year goes to Sophie Winders. The character award for the A team goes to someone who is always full of life. She's really come on in terms of her playing ability this year and it's really clear that she's been playing football outside of school as well. She's been integral on the pitch, but I feel most importantly this player is really key to how well this team gels together and works together as a team. A great season for this player. The character award for the A team goes to Lily Jellowitz. Congratulations.
This year has been a great year for the under 13s boys rugby team. With so many positives throughout the season, it was hard for me to pick my highlight. But winning DC 10s has to be up there. Beating DC in the final and Fritz scoring that golden try was brilliant. I know it's not how we all wanted to finish this year's season, but I'm sure we'll all make up for it next year. As well as that, thank you to all the coaches for a great season. Hi there everyone, I hope you're all enjoying the awards. Looking at the boys under 13 rugby group, it's safe to say that we do so with proud and fond memories of a brilliant year across the board for everyone involved. There's been lots of individual development as well as brilliant collective team performances. Notably for the B team against other schools across Dubai, but then also challenging for places in the A team during training. There was lots of changes from the B team to the A team showing the strength in depth and the willingness of the boys to take advantage of those opportunities and step up when they could do. For the A team, the notable highlights were the DC 10 performances and then going back the following week to do it again, beating DC in their own patch in 15th. I'm sure that if the boys had that same determination and attitude, we'd have gone on to win the league and I'm extremely excited to look forward to next year and seeing them all do it again with that same attitude and same determination. That's your challenge, boys. There's also a special mention needs to go to the Rosslyn Park squad, all of who worked extremely hard to be selected and whilst it was disappointing not to be able to go to the tournament itself, sometimes it isn't just the destination. The journey counts for a lot as well, and it doesn't take away from all of the hard work that you put in there. Looking at the awards now, the player of the year goes to Josh Tower. Josh stepped up all year long, putting in some outstanding performances in various positions, stepping outside of his comfort zone whenever he was asked. Well done, Josh. For the character of the award, it goes to two players, the B team and the A team. However, both of these boys represented exactly what it means to play without fear and with courage and seeing how far this can take you, putting in some outstanding performances and brilliant development as a consequence. Well done to Ethan Williams and Javon perrin Panther. Thanks must go to the parents as well for an outstanding group of people who've managed to bring on some brilliant young individuals. I'm extremely excited again to work with not only the students but also the parent groups and it's a collective effort that's helped them turn into such brilliant people. Thanks again to everyone and I'm looking forward to next season already. Hi, my name's Harry and I've been doing rugby since the start of year 7. One of my highlights was our first win, but I'd like to thank Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Treble and Mr. Cliff, but most importantly to all the girls on the team. I'm looking forward to the next season. It's a shame we didn't get to finish this season. Hi everyone, Mr. Kennedy here. And first off, I'd just like to thank all the people who were involved with the under 13s tag rugby season this year. It was an absolute success and I really enjoyed it. And I'm sure the girls did as well. The girls were extremely successful and were an absolute pleasure to coach. Their attitude towards training exceeded expectations and the willingness to learn was positive and consistent throughout the season. It was always nice to see hard work paying off on the field as well. The character awards this year goes to two girls who showed great commitment and positivity throughout training. The under 13 B's character award goes to Haley O'Connor. The under 13 A's character award goes to Amelia Gemlik. Finally, the under 13 Tag Rugby Player of the Year goes to someone who showed dominance on and off the field as well as an unspoken leadership role amongst the team. She was a consistent role model for the younger students as well as the other players in her team. It was an absolute pleasure to coach her and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for her at desk. Congratulations to Jenny Howe. Hello, my name is Alistair Hess and at this year's Senior Sports Awards I won the Golf Character Award as well as the 2019-2020 Principals Award. Taking a multi-sport approach to my school years has been important to me as it's allowed me to gel with groups of friends in those different teams as well as enjoy the respected sports for their own characteristics. It has allowed me to understand both winning and losing in team and individual sports with your teammates around you, supporting you, as well as being all on your own and being mentally against yourself. 
Taking such an approach has allowed me to gain the confidence, both in the classroom and on the sports fields, to leave my comfort zone. Who would have thought, in my younger years, I'd have such a passion for golf? Playing such a variety of sports has allowed me to develop strengths in which have turned me into the athlete I am today. One piece of advice I'd like to leave you on is to grasp every opportunity Desk provides to you. They couldn't have done any more for me and I can't thank them enough. I want to say a big congratulations to all the winners this evening across all sports. Well done. On to Team of the Year. Now as you can imagine it can be quite tough to choose just one team that's done exceptionally well. So this year we had to pick two teams to take joint prize. Both of these teams won their respective DASA leagues. One of these teams progressed extremely well through their cup, having a great victory over Jess in penalties. Might have given away one of the sports there. The other team had an excellent run and managed to walk away with the plate at a BSAT competition in which they were performing above their age group. They also managed to perform extremely well at Dubai Sevens, walking away with the win. It's my pleasure to award this year's Joint Team of the Year to the Under 13A Netball Team and the Under 13A Football Team. Congratulations to both teams, you should be very proud of yourselves, I know your coaches are. So on to team of the year for the under 13 boys. This team was made up of some excellent characters and they were fully committed to every training session, always pushing themselves and each other to the limits of their ability. They finished top of their league. They also won the Dubai College 10s. They showed excellent commitment throughout all of their games, often with B team players stepping up into the A team and, and adding to their overall performance. A highlight of their season would be beating Dubai College on their home turf and taking the win. It's my pleasure to announce this year's team of the year as the under 13 boys A rugby team. Congratulations, Mr. Cliff is very proud, as are all of your coaches. I would like to start by congratulating all of the year eights who have continued to impress us all in the PE and sports department this year. Your commitment and high levels of skills combined with your positivity have made you all extremely successful this year and a pleasure to teach and coach. So thank you to all of you that have competed and we look forward to seeing you back in the competitive sporting environments again next academic year. Now on to the award for Sportswoman of the Year. The online conversations about the worthy recipients of this award amongst the staff took an extended period of time and that was due to many nominees at under 13 level that have been fully involved in sports at an impressive level. Character, inevitably, was a consideration when shortlisting nominees along with those that have been most committed to desk school teams and those that have demonstrated consistently outstanding performances. The physical attributes of this award winner have really developed this year and she is known for her speed, agility and power that enable her to make timely interceptions on the netball court. These are so consistent that she is often referred to by the netball staff as the game changer. On the football pitch, she has shown her resilience this season, never giving up whilst playing against top opposition and dominating the midfield with her excellent work rate. In cross country, she was the fastest individual runner for desk in her age category and committed to both the individual and team events. She has grown in confidence as an individual this year, is keen to be involved and do her best. She can be relied upon to pull on a desk shirt and perform for any sporting event required for the good of the college. The under 13 Sportswoman of the Year is Yasmin Craig. Under 
2013 Sportsman of the Year. This young man has been an exemplary role model and ambassador for Des. He is cheerful, polite and inquisitive, always wanting to improve. He is an accomplished athlete with both pace and stamina and it's been wonderful to see him perform for Des. His ability and performance in football have been of the highest quality and have contributed to the continued success of the team. He leads from the front in terms of effort and character and is an integral component of the squad. Congratulations to Under-13 Sportsman of the Year, Hamdan Baswedin. Hi, I really hope you enjoyed the Sports Awards. It was lovely to see Alistair and his views on death sport. I think he's got some great advice there and I really hope you can grasp all the opportunities and get yourself involved in as many sports as possible while you're at death. And uh, Alistair also got into golf late, so it's never too late to try something new and get out of your comfort zone. A big thank you to all the captains and role models for contributing to the ceremony and a huge congratulations to all our winners. But most importantly, well done for everyone who was involved with sport this year. I really look forward to seeing you grow as people and sportsmen and women on the pitch, in the pool and on the courts next year. I do think we have the best parents and supporters in Dubai and I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on the sidelines in the not too distant future. Take care everyone.